Time on Eagle Riders. You got to force the Eagle Riders base into an underwater canyon and then seal them off with a giant iceberg. <laughs> it's Dr. Aiken. I need you to go to the hangar immediately and fly back in the Ultra Eagle One. All right, Doc. Let's melt some icebergs. The solar shifters that Warwick had created were still causing damage all over the planet. Gateway City was free, and Malinox and his Vorak had been stopped. At least for now. Nana for your mother. Get it? <laughs> See, the guy thought that the monkey was her baby. I gotta tell you, I don't think that joke's funny at all, Ollie. Well, I for one think we should stop sitting around telling jokes and go out and get Malinox. Hey, Hunter, Joe, don't you guys agree with me? Well, what do you say? What's with you guys anyway? They don't want us to do anything right now, Mickey. We're supposed to stay put. Huh? Oh, what's that all about? Yeah, what's the big secret? We haven't seen any action for days. I'm getting bored just waiting around here. They're working on this new radar system. Until that's done, Dr. Keene said to sit tight. Well, hey, I'm not just gonna sit around. I'm getting out of here. I don't blame Mickey. I'm getting a little edgy myself. Joe, we're just gonna have to trust Dr. Keene. Report to the Global Security Council, number G1X43, submitted by Hunter Harris. Dr. Keene was developing a radar that could neutralize the thermal beam sent out by the Vorax solar shifters. Top scientists from around the world were working day and night under heavy security at the ISO building. If these people couldn't stop the Vorax, the entire planet would suffer the consequences. Dr. Keene, we're getting all kinds of seismic activity coming in all over the world. I'm getting something. Several volcanoes have erupted and some strong tidal waves have been spotted. How much more of these disasters can the Earth take, Dr. Keene? Unfortunately, these horrible disasters will continue to escalate until we can locate all the solar shifters and disable their thermal beams. That's why this radar project is so vital. But we mustn't despair and give up. We must continue to fight. We must not let Malinox resume the firing of these beams. In the meantime, dispatch rescue teams to the areas that were hit the hardest. Gentlemen, remember, we need to stay strong to fight these invaders. We now have the technology to find and destroy their beams. Then we can defeat the Vorak. We have an 8.7 earthquake. That's in the ocean. An earthquake of that magnitude could cause a tidal wave to flood over the city. I'm afraid I have to agree that's a possibility, Francie. I think we should get out a warning and evacuate everyone out of the city immediately before this thing hits. Get the rescue squad. Yes, sir. I'll alert them to the situation. Tell them to start emergency evacuation right away. What a shame. Dr. Keene, command is dispatching choppers and rescue troops to help in the evacuation. All right, soldier, give me your report. Is everything secure? Yes, sir, I made sure. No, what in the world's going on here? Is it an earthquake? Something set the intruder alarm off. This is Captain Johnson. Some sort of mole machine has broken into the garage. What's that? I've got a feeling I know who this invader is. Something tells me it's... Hate to crash in like this, but I was in the neighborhood and I thought I'd drop in. <laughs> well, I can't say much for your security. Here. Now then, where is my friend, Dr. Key? Where is he? He's in the data room, you bungler, on the 31st floor. Catch in corridor B has been blown wide open, and nobody is responding to our signal in the computer room. We have intruders. It's Malinox. Somehow they've gotten inside the building, and it's just a matter of time before they find us. Everybody remain calm. Don't move a muscle. The Vorak have taken command of this building. All hail Malinox. Just as I thought. 
What happens now? What is it? Is that new way to greet an old friend? You're no friend of mine, Malinox, and I demand that you and your Vorak leave this facility right now. Cover them. You know, for a very smart man, you're pretty thick. Do you really believe for even a moment that I would just go if you asked me to? There's something I want, and I'm not leaving a second before I get it. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, could I possibly be talking about the radar for the solar shifters? Look for it, it's around here somewhere. Right! Shh! It will be our own little secret without the radar for the solar shifters. You can't stop us, so you might as well give up. You're doomed! <laughs> Hunter, don't you think it's strange we haven't been contacted yet? We haven't heard from Dr. Keene for a while. I'm getting worried. He's working on the radar, Kel. Even so, he hasn't checked in with us for days. Maybe something's wrong, Hunter. We'll hear soon enough, Kelly. I'm picking up a television transmission generating from ISO headquarters. Should I display it on the monitor? Go ahead. Malinox. Greetings, viewers. I'm broadcasting from the ISO building. Let me introduce myself. I'm Malinox, ruler of the world. What does he think he's doing? I just wanted to let all you people of Earth know that everything is fine and under my control. <laughs> Perhaps some of you recognize this gentleman. He and everyone here is my prisoner. That's the data room. We're in charge now, so do not resist us. We have thermal beams pointed everywhere, every major city, all over the world. Give up. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> I'm betting Malinox found out about the special radar, and that's why he and his goons have taken over the ISO building. We've got to come up with a way to get him out of there. Let's double back to headquarters. Well, I guess that shows everyone. That we're in charge. You think just because you've taken over this building that you rule the world? Yes. This building is just one step in many. It's real funny, don't you think? <laughs> that every one of those people would put their trust behind you and your building. If you think you've captured this building, you're only fooling yourself. There's a big tidal wave coming, Malinox. Nice, but I don't buy that for a second, Dr. Keen. Now stop storming around and get me that thermal beam radar before I level this entire building myself. If you're smart, you'll listen to Dr. Keen. He's not bluffing about that. Your thermal beams caused a large earthquake, which is creating a tidal wave. That's just what I meant for it to do. You made a miscalculation. That tidal wave you created is headed for us, and everyone, including you, will wind up underwater. I don't miscalculate. You just don't know the power of your own thermal beams, Malinox. It's you who doesn't know, but you'll soon learn. You're going to destroy the Earth, then you'll have nothing to conquer. Just look at the data our computers have acquired, if you don't believe me. That's enough. You're in no position to lecture me. Frankly, I don't care what your stupid computers say. All I'm interested in is the radar. Wait, Dr. Keen, you mustn't give him the location of the radar. It's our only hope against the Vorak. I, for one, would rather be swallowed up in that tidal wave than give the Vorak the location of that thermal beam radar. I'm sure that can be arranged. Let them go and keep me. You are in no position to bother with me, Doctor. Now you must admit, nothing is sweeter than victory. <laughs> There's a well of water headed this way! Auto zoom in. It's a tidal wave! A big one! We've got to get them out of there! A tidal wave has an enormous amount of power, enough to level a city. But this city appeared to be evacuated. Everywhere we looked was deserted. weapons, Malinox. Otherwise, next time I won't miss you. Men, throw down your guns. The tables have turned, haven't they, Malinox? I've waited for this for a long time. And yet there's something so familiar about him. There is something about this woman every time I encounter her. What is it I'm sensing about him? I wish I knew. Oh, 
machine right away, man. Yes, sir. We've got to get out of here. Everyone remain calm. We have to get to the air tunnel test room 10 stories above here. That's the one place that will be safe from the water. Climbing up through the ventilation shaft is our only chance. We were so close, and that Dr. Aikens had to spoil everything. Sir, the water's approaching, and it's going to be at its highest point soon. Should we go back to our headquarters? Not on your life. We're not going anywhere until we've taken their radar. What is it about that woman, Dr. Aikens? I can't shake that feeling that I know her son. But how? She appears to be one of Dr. Keene's closest aides. Start the mole machine. The radar isn't in the data room, but something tells me it's nearby. Yes, sir. Right away, Malinox. We'll search every room in that building if we have to. Should we start at the computer room, or should we go back to the data room? What's the point? Those rooms are flooded. Let's start at the top and work our way down. Aye, aye. We'll split up. Mickey and Joe to the right, the rest of us left. <laughs> is now flooded all the way to the 68th floor. Then keep going higher. We've got to find it. Yes, sir. The water hasn't flooded the elevator shaft yet. Let's take this down to the 31st floor. <laughs> We're passing the 33rd floor. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Molly, are you sure they were on this floor? They were being held in the data room. That's where they were in the televised transmission. <laughs> Everyone stand back. Oh no, this floor is completely flooded. Let's just hope they all got out in time. I hate to seem pessimistic, but I don't think it looks too good. We're on the 31st floor. The water has already risen all the way to the 70th floor. That's right. I just don't think they would have climbed all the way up to the 70th floor. Why not? Because the elevators are out, Mickey. They couldn't have gotten up here ahead of the water. The only chance they would have would be if there was a place in this building that was somehow waterproof and could protect them from the tidal wave. Hey, wait a minute, Joe. I think there is a room like that here in the building. What are you talking about, Ollie? I don't remember any waterproof He's room. He's right. There's an air tunnel test room on the 41st floor. There's a dome inside of that room that's completely waterproof. I bet Dr. Keene brought everyone there. All right, team. Grab your oxygen. We're going in. Right. right. We're passing the 40th floor now. Keep looking. They have to be around here somewhere. I'm afraid if this continues, the building's structure could collapse from all of the water. I don't know how much more it can take. Hey, I think the air stopped. I don't hear anything anymore. Yeah, quiet. I think he's right. The ventilation system isn't working. Without any oxygen, we'll suffocate. We're going to climb to the top through the air conditioning system. But, Doctor, what are we going to do about the thermal beam radar? I'm afraid we'll have to leave it here. We can't just leave it behind. What did we all work so hard for? Gentlemen, listen. This special radar can be replaced. But we can't replace human life. We must stay alive if we're to fight the Vorak. We must never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd find it. There it is. Get them out. All right, Otto. Hover around the southwest side of the ISO building now. Affirmative. You two, take everyone to the rendezvous point. Right. Joe, Kelly, let's go. <coughs> I've suddenly lost power to the left arm, sir. You dumbass. Order the others into action. Meantime, you and I will take off with the radar. Fire!
We gotta stop him before he loads it. <laughs> Hurry, it's closing. <laughs> the radar has been loaded, sir. Excellent. Head back. <laughs> Cybercon hears that I took the radar and left all the Earthlings defenseless. <laughs> I'm the real brain. Huh? What's going on around here? It's not nice to take something that doesn't belong to you. You've got our radar and we want it back. Huh? What's it gonna be, Malinox? <gasps> Been fun, but I gotta run. Uh-oh. Going somewhere, Malinox? <gasps> now, now, let's not do anything hasty. Don't do something you regret. The time has come to see who's behind that mask. <laughs> something funny? As a matter of fact, it's really hilarious. I always say there's nothing like good preparation, don't you think? Watch out! Ciao! <laughs> Our tidal wave has made a shambles of the ISO building. All in all, it's been a very good day. So I guess I'll have to get the radar machine next time. Eagle Riders, you did a terrific job recovering the radar. A lot of fine men and women risked their lives for this project. I'm just glad it didn't end up in the hands of the Borax. But we failed to capture Malinox. The tidal wave has reached its zenith. I will engage viewing monitors for observation. Oh, I can't believe it. Look at that. All right. sad to see the destruction of the ISO building, along with the rest of our city. But we did manage to save the thermal beam radar, which I was happy about because it'll be a valuable tool in fighting the Vorak. But once again, Malinox slipped through our clutches, and I'm sure we haven't seen the last of him. So, were you able to get the thermal beam radar? Well, Cybercon, actually, I had the radar, but something much better happened. I won't tolerate failure. I gave you an order and expect you to follow it. But again, look who I'm dealing with. But, Master, I destroyed the ISO building. Enough! I've got some real news. I've finally discovered the real identities of two of the Eagle Riders. Look here. This will be a tremendous tool in tracking them down, Cybercon. Exactly, you dolt. With this new information, you can find them and take care of them before they have the opportunity to transform into Eagle Riders. This is very good, Sire. Now that we know who they really are, we'll be rid of them forever! Ha <laughs> ha!